The world has seen the way in which India started moving ahead with a resolve. There's a new hope that India's three shakti, that is, aspiration, reawakening, and the taking note of global expectations, India would become a major power in science and technology in the coming decades. India has entered now the Amrit Kaal of its Azadi. The next 25 years are going to be very significant for our country. 130 crore Indians must strongly focus their attention on science and technology in the coming 25 years. The world has seen how digital India changed the lives of many. It has contributed in the ease of living index of Indians. India's startups have taken the world by storm. India has become the third largest global startup ecosystem after the US and China, as per the Economic Survey 2021-22. The survey noted that the government recognized over 14,000 new startups in 2021-22 against 733 in 2016-17. With this, the total number of recognized startups in the country has surpassed 61,400. During 2021, 555 districts had at least one new startup against 121 districts in 2016-17, as per the Economic Survey. India saw a record 44 startups turning unicorns in 2021. Unicorns are companies with over $1 billion valuation. India also overtook the United Kingdom to have the third highest number of unicorns after the US and China, which added 487 and 301 unicorns respectively. As of January 2022, India had 83 unicorns with a total valuation of $277.77 billion, according to the survey. Most of these unicorns are in the services sector, which contributes over 50% to India's GDP. The startups is that pool of talent who lives in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities or in villages and belongs to poor families. These are our youngsters who are coming before the world today with new discoveries. We have to give up the colonial era mentality. Instead, we must rely on our capabilities. Today, India's natural farming has also become self-reliant. The number of fertilizer factories have brought new hope in the country. Natural farming and chemical-free farming can give a boost to self-reliance. Now, new employment opportunities in the form of green jobs are opening up very fast in the country. India has opened up her space sector as well. India has also come up with a progressive policy on drones. It has opened up new doors of opportunities for the youth of the country. One of the dreams of a self-reliant India is to ensure that India does not lag behind in fulfilling the needs of the world. The micro, small and medium enterprises or MSMEs have been tasked to take our products to the world with zero defect, zero effect policy. We all need to be proud of our Swadeshi products. Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vigyan, Jai Anusandhan should be the motto of the youth. The Indian youth have shown their power by their indigenous innovations. Today, we have many success stories to show United Payments Interface, that is UPI, Bharat Interface for Money or Bheem are our digital payments gateways. 40% of real-time global digital financial transactions are happening in our country. India has shown innovation prowess to the world. India has a dominant position in the domain of fintech. India has entered the 5G era too. It would not be long before we match the global steps. India is ensuring that optical fiber reaches each and every village until the last mile. The dream of a digital India will be attained through rural India. Today, 4 lakh common service centers of India are being developed in the villages which are being managed by the youth of those villages. The nation can take pride in the fact that these 4 lakh digital entrepreneurs are being nurtured for the welfare of the rural population. Rural India is becoming accustomed to the benefits of all the digital services. India has become a technology hub in itself. The complete transformation of our education ecosystem, revolution in the health infrastructure and improvement in the quality of agriculture has been possible only through digitalization. India would be marching ahead phenomenally in the coming decade, which is being touted as the decade for humanity. It is going to be the decade of technology. In science, technology, health, agriculture, IT and other sectors, India has become a force to reckon with globally. We have the competence to contribute in this decade. New areas are emerging that would be the domain of a modern, aspirational India.